Hey there, Libra. Hope your guys' week has been treating you guys well. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what messages are coming out for your highest good at this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra. Tell me about Libra, please. What does Libra need to know for their highest good? Libra. Tell me about Libra. All right. Mr. Officer here. So, police station. Two more for Libra. Somebody's a cop. Think about a restraining order here. Somebody could be friends of a cop. Then we've got mirroring energy here. Let me get one more for Libra. One more for Libra. This is a popo. Let me get one more. Two more it is. Moving on and letting go. And you got somebody that's not happy about this, but oh well. What's this like creepy creepy? energy again keeping tabs on you especially if this person is in the in in a police officer i don't like that if this is a low vibing police officer you you, you might want to be a little careful with that okay because this person has access to things and stuff like that i don't like that sweet talk so somebody wants to try to come back and sweet talk you here i feel like this person's already tried to do this and it's just it's not working here so they're really really going to try to mirror your energy okay Boy, they don't like that you're dishing. Oh, when did that one get in there? We're going to leave that here. Surrendering to your complete healing. You're opening up fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Keep doing that. That's beautiful. It's overall energy here for Libra. Courage. Finding the inner strength to face fear with confidence here, guys. That's beautiful. You're very strong, and this person doesn't like that you're you're taking your power back, and you're having this inner strength, okay? The courage to move forward, the courage to let go. They don't like that. Oh, well, right? The courage to change. Understanding that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, guys, okay? So you've made some changes, okay? That's why that healing card was in here, too. So these changes, this person's not happy about your changes. They're going to mirror you and, and act. I'm saying pretend. Act. It's all an act. This person's going to act like they have changed. Honesty. You can't expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. And that's why you're moving away from this person. This is somebody here that you view as not honest. They're deceptive. That's why you're moving on. Yeah, you've laid this to rest, and you're knowing that by ending this, it's going to make room for something different, especially with all these changes that you're making in your life. That's beautiful. Keep doing that. Rebirth. Shedding an old version of yourself and stepping into a new timeline here, guys. A person does not like that you've laid this to rest here. It could be a Scorpio. You have Scorpio on your moon rising or Venus. Me and a moonology here. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, so this one here is getting ready to make a move towards you guys, okay? Something about you being bold and making these changes and making the moves for your life here as well, guys, okay? But you got this person that is a very bold energy that's getting ready to make this move on you. So maybe you guys have a new person getting ready to make a move on you because with that not happy there, I feel like, you know, new, new love coming towards you and... This person's not going to be happy about that. Communication is key. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Have that in your moon rising or Venus. So this person knows that, you know, communicating is very important to you. Opening up and, and being honest and sincere. They know this. That's why they're going to mirror that. They know exactly what you want to hear. So they're going to make it seem like they're doing the same things in their life that you are. They are not. Hold your vision. Could be done with a fixed sign, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Have that in your moon rising or Venus here. So you've got a vision for yourself, how you want your life to be. And it doesn't include this person. That's why they're not happy here. So hold your vision, okay? You got this. Don't let this person get in your head. Meditate and contemplate. Could be done with the Pisces. Have that in your moon rising or Venus here. So those persons contemplating towards you. And this is about you pulling away from the situation, okay? And just taking time out for yourself some of you guys need to meditate or are thinking about meditating or you already do but this is definitely pulling away and assessing this situation because this person's really going to mirror you so again something about communication that this person knows that that's important so they're going to really come in there and give you that so but it's not sincere guys what needs to be surrendered for libra what needs to be surrendered for libra 
And there it is. Surrendering unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Absolutely. And that's why you're making these changes for yourself. You're, you're surrendering. You're, you're healing. You want better relationships. Letting go of the stress that this person had you in. Taking deep breaths. Exhale the tension you build up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. That's that meditate and contemplation card too. So... You know, I look at that as heart chakra being, you know, activated and open and just letting go of all this, this crap that this person put you through. A lot of stress this one had you under, guys. So this is coming out to remind you what you're not missing when it comes to this person. Stressful situation that this one likes to put you in. Surrender to spirit. So once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. And that's what you're doing. Trusting and having faith, okay, that everything is going to work out better for you. This person was removed from your life so you could make these changes. And, when, and you're going to have better come in for that, guys. So just knowing that things are going to line up right when they're meant to, okay? All right, tell me about this police station here, Mr. Officer. Somebody's definitely a cop here, or somebody's friend with a cop. You could have had to call the cops on this person here. Tell me about police station. Very sneaky energy here. Tell me about police station. So you See, you got somebody here blocked off, okay? And somebody doesn't like it. So this is somebody here that is like, it, it's, it's like a, I feel like this person is like, Especially if they're police officer, this is somebody here that looks up, like, things in your family here. Like, they are looking up documents and things that they're technically not supposed to be doing here, and they're doing that. This person doesn't like that you've got them blocked off here. And something about this person trying to, you know, go past your house or your place of employment here, because this person's really keeping an eye on you here. This person knows that they can't put you in denial anymore. That's why they're going to mirror you. Eight of Swords. So this got, this person's and it's like a trapped energy. This person wants to keep, like trap you. They want to keep you stuck in this conflict. They they don't like that you're changing. They don't like that you've got this courage to walk away. They don't like that you're just no longer affected by this. You're not letting them stress you out or, or nothing. So this one's worrying and panicking now. Something here about the truth. This person trying to find the truth out. You got all the truth you needed to about this person. And something about this person getting into your your business too, especially if they're a cop, guys. Nine of Wands. So this is somebody that was non-committal energy, guys. Back and forth, hot and cold, wearing masks. Thought you'd be down in that corner, staying down and out and feeling bad for yourself while they took off with someone else and you're not doing that. Okay, now they're trying to come back here and, and flip-flop you out here. Trying to put you back up on that magical pony ride. It ain't so magical, is it? <laughs> I'm just saying. So somebody may need to get a restraining order here. Well, this person doesn't like that you're holding back from them. And this is a very possessive person. They still think that you belong to them. My God. Sleepless nights. So somebody is not sleeping well right now. And this is also coming out to remind you how many sleepless nights that you had to go through dealing with this person. As there's, I keep getting here that somebody is definitely... It's an energy of somebody is definitely... Um, driving past somebody's house like you could have had some sleepless nights just watching this person drive past your house and things because this is a very creepy energy guys Ooh, this person's panicking because you're leveling up to the empress here you're knowing your worth you've been balancing out your emotions you're attracting towards you okay empresses don't chase they attract and that's what you're doing and this person's watching your glow up that's why they're freaking out and panicking they can't sleep so that's beautiful Stepping into your true power here, and it's beautiful. You're glowing, and this person knows this. Okay, they want a new beginning here, guys. They do. Tell me about this mirroring energy. So they're going to mirror you, and they don't like this, this mirroring that you're giving back to them. Ace of Pentacles, here they come. Trying to offer you loyalty, stability here, but I don't like that look in her face there. It looks like somebody here that's just got ulterior motives here. Someone could be having money problems here, but man, this is somebody here that's going to... They're going to tell you everything that you want to hear, okay? It's like envy, like a jealous envy energy that I'm getting off of this person. Tell me more about marrying. So they're going to tell you that they want all the stability and all this stuff with you. 
justice. See, man, look at this. Those persons been studying you, researching you, especially if they know that you're under this stuff here. They see you back there getting away from them. That's that dolphin. That's you, okay? You're that free spirit energy. You're happier now. You could be, you know, journaling, just researching things up yourself right now because you're really focused on yourself. You want better for yourself. This one's going to try to come back and apologize and make it seem like they're in touch with their feelings and eh, it's going to be perfect and great. No, it's not. This person's full of crap. Justice, man. So somebody definitely works in some kind of justice system here. This person's going to try to come back here and make amends with you, but man, you've already put that sword down in that snake, and a snake only sheds its skin to become a bigger snake, guys, okay? So this person is, uh-uh, five of wands, man. This is somebody here that is full of jealousy, envy, hate, being put in competition, just drama and chaos follows this person. They're going to try to come in here and fight for the still, Okay? And this is somebody that knows that you're in this mirror. You're, you're mirroring back that same energy. Don't fight with this person. They still think you care if you argue with them, guys. Give them no reaction if you have that luxury, if there's no kids involved and stuff. But this person's mirroring you because you're in this energy of you're not, you're not to be played with. And they sure don't like that you're mirroring back this cold energy to them that they were doing to you. Like they, You got them all conflicted, okay? That's why they're going to try to come in here and be lovey-dovey with you. So definitely children involved here for somebody. Could be kids on the outside of this relationship. Past life connection. Past life lessons needed to be learned. Could have known this person from your childhood, your teenage years. Okay. But this is somebody here that something about this person when you first met them. How you perceived them before you caught on to their their behavior and who they really are at a core. That's what this person is going to try to mirror you. This this um lovey-dovey childlike energy like you guys like they've turned a new leaf no they haven't something about this person this person knows something here that they've done in the past to be able to pull you back in and they're going to try to do that again too whatever that may be for you but this one here is going to try to reach out and try to send you a passionate flirty message trying to serenade you back and tell you oh baby i miss you and no they're mirroring your energy guys Tell you about moving on, letting go. That's the reason they're mirroring you because of that. So this is about you finding things that sh that strike your passion. Okay, this is you letting go and loving yourself. Okay, you could could be exploring new hobbies, just things that ignite your passion, things that get you your mojo up and running again. Okay, this person is going to try to use lust to try to come back in here for you. They feel like if they sleep with you, they can they got you or they want you. And you clearly moved on from this relationship because you found out this person was, you know, sleeping with other people. Tell me more about moving on. Let's see, this person here does not like that you're isolating yourself. A lot of knowledge and wisdom that you've gained here. This person's behavior is predictable for somebody here. And you're definitely, you're like, you're on to this person. So this person's now analyzing you and trying to think of the perfect thing to do because they know that you're breaking free from them. So very selfish energy that you were doing, dealing with here. And this is about you pouring back into yourself and being good on your own, guys, okay? This person's going to try to come back in here and sweep you off your feet because... They know you're moving on. And then I do feel like you're going to have a wish fulfillment of better, you know, better relationships coming in for you, okay? There they are right there. This person's ego is taking a hit because you're not going to play these games with them. This is somebody that leaves a trail of broken hearts. So they've done this to more than one person here. So this person does not like that you've got this courage. Oh, well, right? Something here about this person's vanity so this person could all be always looking at themselves in the mirror, okay? Very vain, superficial energy. And this is about you wanting better. I feel like you had like a talk with yourself, like looking in the mirror and like, you know, this is it. I'm done. I deserve better. I am not going to go back and forth with this person anymore. It's non-committal. I want structure. I want stability. And this person can't provide that for me and I'm out. So this is about you no longer being stuck at a crossroads, Okay, this is about I want better and I'm moving in a new direction. Okay, and this person, I feel like this person would walk away from you too for the ones where they left you. They'd walk away, but they truly always looked back just to make sure you were there because they'd walk away to try to gain control over you. That's why they did that. Okay, so you're going in a new direction now. And now this person is going to try to tell you that they're heartbroken without you. They're going to cry and they're going to pour their emotions and have that conversation that you've been wanting this whole time, now they're going to give it to you because you're moving on. 
Some of you guys have a new person here, okay? And they're going to be heartbroken because now they're going to be on the outside and you're going to be moving into a new healthy relationship with somebody here. Eight of Cups, walking away. This person thought that you, they had you rooted in the ground, her hairs in that tree. Like they for sure thought that you were never going to walk away and you are. Leaving this person out in the cold. This person is abandonment issues. This is someone that takes off and leaves before you leave them. Okay, so you're leaving this person out in the cold, done, giving them the silent treatment, you're over it. Okay, you've been resting, healing, you're up out of your emotions, you're just getting in tune with yourself. Closing out this cycle, okay, and no longer letting this person back in, you broke free, you're, you're opening up for new cycles and that's what you want. Tell me about not happy, so this person's mad, oh well, tell me about not happy. Oof. This person doesn't like that you've taken your power back and you stood your ground. This is a very controlling person. For somebody, this person is narcissistic or a full-blown narcissist, okay? This person's got two sides to them, okay? A side that they show out to the world and then a, a, a dark side that you see when you guys are behind closed doors. So this person is a very controlling, stubborn, set in their ways, and they're not changing. Tell me more about not happy. I just seen that Nine of Pentacles. They're not happy that you're that you want away from them and you're you're doing better without them and they know that you're a catch and they know that someone's going to come for you eight of pentacles so this person's not happy that you've been working on yourself okay you could be um stacking finances definitely self-improvement here so this person's not happy that you don't want to work on things with them anymore and they are not happy that you have taken your power back and that you're you want better and you're changing things up they're not happy but this person never made you happy either Oh, gosh, this person doesn't like that you love yourself. This, I don't know, disgusting. So you're pouring back into yourself. You're knowing your worth. The green on tells me that you're working on your heart chakra. You're healing that, okay? Got that crown up there again, trusting your intuition here. So this person doesn't like that you're loving yourself and you're going towards things that make you happy, including new people here. Oh, so yeah, somebody's definitely going to be going into a new connection here with somebody that's going to, you know, the long haul, somebody that's going to want marriage, the stability like you do. So that's one reason why this person's not going to be happy for somebody. And then this person's not happy because you don't want this relationship back, marriage or no marriage, you don't want this. And somebody's definitely going in a new connection or if you're not in it already. This person doesn't like that you're no longer, um, you know, putting up with their their them wearing this mask okay this is someone very materialistic they hide behind things okay and you are not your your mask is up so you're authentic you're 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 genuine you're you're a compassionate person here so this person's not happy that you're not going to let them back and somebody's definitely going in a new connection so children here again so this person could walk away from their responsibilities there could be kids on the outside of this connection for somebody so I feel like there's a new energy trying to come in here and talk to you, a new person. And then this past person is trying to pop back up here, trying to gift you something, take you out on a date, but you ain't going for it because you look at them as a clown. Somebody's going to be having a tower moment because these changes that you're doing, and this is about you guarding yourself from this past person because they brought a tower moment to you. And somebody's having a tower moment because you have a new person coming in for you. Tell me about this sweet talk. So this person is going to try to sweet talk you. Tell me about that sweet talk. Tell me about that sweet talk. The devil. The devil. Don't let them the devil. The devil trying to get in your ear and tell you some things here, guys. Okay? This is somebody that is... Ugh, this is a very toxic energy, guys. This is somebody that is going to say and do whatever they've got to to get you back. And it's a shapeshifter energy. Okay? If you have a new person here, they are looking over at this new connection that you've got. And boy, they are really trying to figure out how to get in between you and this new person here. Okay. So this person is going to tell you that you're their soulmate. You're their twin. Especially if they know that you're watching stuff like this and they know you're spiritual. They're going to put titles on things. Don't listen to that. This person made the choices that they've made. Now they've got to deal with that. So... This is about no longer letting this person come back and forth. Now, see, she's totally naked in that photo, and he's dressed. So that would tell me that you you were, you know, you bared your soul to this person while they didn't want to reciprocate that back to you. This person wants you trapped and tied to them still, guys. That's how they want you. Like, look, there's handcuffs and everything, like shackles. This one wants to try to restrict you again. 
So you already got the clarity about this person, and this is the truth about this person. This is a very toxic person, man. So don't listen to this person trying to come in here and, and tell you that they're speaking the truth of all this to you. No, that's who they are. Non-committal energy, back and forth, hot and cold, wearing these masks, trying to come in here and reconcile with you and doing whatever they can to reconcile. And I feel like they talk like this to, to especially if they entertain third parties, they, they talk like this to the third parties too, guys. And they're only doing this because you're holding back from them. And they're very possessive and they still think that you belong to them. This one's just freaking out and not happy because you're drawing better things towards you. You know your worth now. Okay? So this one here is just freaking out because they know that you're a catch and someone's going to come for you if they haven't already here. So remember all the sleepless nights that you had to pull yourself out of to get to this Empress energy here. So, boy, this one wants to sweet talk you. I've got air, earth, air, or I'm sorry, earth, water, Libra, fire, Virgo, water, fire, earth, fire, air, Aries, earth, Capricorn, Gemini, air, and air here. So sweet talk. Don't listen to it. Love spell. So this person could be trying to do something to try to get you to come back to them. You cannot mess with people's free will, guys. So this one's, and even... Even words can be magic, guys. The way that they're going to try to come in here with this, this sweet talk towards you, that's a spell on its own. Don't listen to it. Well, this person does not like that you have them blocked. Okay? Something about um, this person could be looking up, like, trying to reach out from, like, you know, app. Even if we block somebody, you can still, like, download an app and still message people from that. So this person's going to, they don't like that you're not acknowledging them. Something about this person researching you, too. They're watching you living in the moment here, okay? And you definitely got the truth, and you're discovering things about yourself. You're awakening, okay? Something about you illuminating this person for who they are, too. Jezebel spirit. So, yeah, this is a Jezebel spirit that you were dealing with, guys. And now you've got this masculine trying to come back. It's too late. They know it's too late, so that's why they're trying to come back here and with this shady energy and tell you, you know, all the things that you want to hear. That's why they're going to do that. And if you have a new person, oh, they, they, they shady. They'll try to get in the way of that. Libra. Foundation. So you want foundation. Family is important to you. Security is important to you. This person knows that because there's something about a conversation that this person wants to have with you. Okay, so they're going to tell you all these things that they want now with you. But I feel like there's better to come, guys, if this new person isn't here already. Tell me more. Tell me more. This is someone that exaggerates things. They wear a mask. They fake pretend. You're calling this person's bluff and they don't like it obsession this is somebody here that could suffer from addictions they definitely uh, this person's definitely won't stop watching you there there's obsession with you very obsessive energy this one this is someone here that doesn't like that you're avoiding them this is someone that very well could have pushed you away okay but you're ex uh, you're escaping from this one somebody may need to get a restraining order on this person man and then there it is again, family. So some of you guys are creating new foundations with new people, or that's what you're going to be. This past person of yours is going to tell you they want family and all that with you now. And there could be a pregnancy. This person could have somebody pregnant for somebody here on the outside of this connection. Tell me more. Commitment. So new commitment's coming in if it's not here already. And then this past person is going to tell you all the things that you wanted to hear. They want marriage. They want family. They want it all with you now. Tell me more. Tell me more. Libra. Hopeless. This person would rather you be in this hopeless energy, in despair, falling apart, and you're not. So that's why they're going to try to come in here and mirror you now. They expected you to be in this hopeless energy. Now they're at their breaking point because you're not in that hopeless energy, okay? And again, something about this person researching you. This is someone that no longer can overwhelm you, and they're at their breaking point now. This is somebody here that sees that they can no longer put you in la-la land, okay? You guys are definitely um, imagining better things for your life here, guys. And then that's masculine energy here again. 
So you're clearly in your masculine energy protecting your boundaries, guys. So this masculine. See, twin flame. So this person is going to tell you that they're your twin flame and all kinds of things, man. No. There's something about this person mirroring you. If Even if you do consider this person your twin flame, they toxic. They are not... You're, Cut, you're supposed to cut it, get away from it, guys, okay? But something about this person putting titles on things, guys. Very arrogant, very ego, very stubborn, very prideful person that you're dealing with, this past person. They're pissed that you're releasing them. You're letting go, you're moving on. Second card of that now, you're releasing. You're done. And now they want to try to come back in here and try to get you stuck in this web of lies again. Dishonest, deception, trickery, that's what they do. Ooh, this is somebody here that's got a negative mindset, guys. This person could be wishing bad on you. Something about this person is just, ew, it's just a very dark energy, guys. Don't, mm -mm. So they're going to try to come in here and be intimate with you. Try, there's something about this person. For some of you, this person would, um, would make you feel comfortable to where you could confide in them. And then they'd use that against you later, guys, okay? So this person's going to try to come in here and try to get you to open up with this intimacy. And I feel like for some of you, there's a new person here where you're going to be sharing that bond and you're going to have that, that intimacy, with, inti the intimacy with somebody new here. So let me get you guys one of these and then we'll close her out. All right, what does Libra need to hear today? What does Libra need to hear today, please? Libra. Libra. Prioritize self-healing right now. Put your needs above others for once. It's time to focus on you. Self-healing takes time and a lot of self-love. Remember, open wounds don't heal into scars overnight. Take the time you need in order to feel happier and healthier within yourself. There is no rush. So prioritizing yourself right now, guys, okay? If people are gossiping about you or spreading rumors, don't fall for it. No one is worth lowering your vibration for. Let it move through you. See it for what it is, which is a reflection of their pain rather than the result of your actions. So this one wants to try to gossip about you and say you did all the bad things. Let them go, you know? People want to gossip. Truth always comes out, guys. And if people believe this, they're not for you, so... What is meant for you won't pass you by. You will never have to force something that is truly meant to be. Trust in perfection of divine timing and allow your life to unfold as it should. Whatever comes, let it come. Whatever goes, let it go. So there's better things coming in. What's meant for you is always for you guys. No one can take it from you unless you give them the power to take it from you. Then they can, okay? All right, my beautiful Libra, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me in a couple days. We'll do it all over again. Light and love to you guys, and I'll see you soon.